Welcome to part three of the uh, introductory video to the new version of Deepwater, which uh, is rolling out August 2015. Uh, in part one, we covered the uh, dashboard tab and some of the changes that have been made there. Part And we also talked about the configuration tab uh, and the notifications tab, which is uh, brand new and represents a significant increase in functionality for Deepwater. Part two, we talked about uh, students and teams, uh, particularly the instructor ability to change team names, and uh, students can change their team name as well. Uh, we spent most of the time in part two talking about the calendar game round information, and this is where uh, you configure the details of your deep water simulation game. And we talked about the uh, significantly uh, different approach to ethical challenges in deep water and how you can set those up to uh, automatically announce themselves to students and automatically deliver the documentation they need to respond to those challenges. In part three, I want to talk about uh, first the uh, weather and oil price tab, which is uh, essentially unchanged. Uh, this, is, uh, this gives you the ability to uh, override the uh, real world weather and the real world oil prices and use your own weather and use your own oil prices uh, to, craft your, uh, to craft your simulation. Uh, I always like to say it gives you the ability to throw a hurricane at the students. Okay, uh, the assessments tab is uh, brand new. This allows you to assign assessments to student surveys to, um, to your simulation. And what happens is uh, when you assign, I'm just gonna click on the use all here by default, uh, none of the assessments are activated. But um, I just clicked on Use All, and this tells you, this gives you automatically um, the rounds in which the assessments will become available to students. Uh, this is a highly structured uh, assessment process with uh, different surveys asking different questions uh, throughout the simulation game. So if you decide to use these assessments, uh, this is how you set it up. When uh, students log on, let's say, uh, let's just talk about assessment number one, the pre-practice rounds. So they're asked to, students are asked to fill out a uh, survey about their expectations, hopes, and fears for the simulation before it gets started. So when they uh, first log on, uh, uh, the first practice round it opens, they will be prompted to uh, click on a link, which will take them out to an assessment area where they uh, will have an opportunity to express uh, their views and opinions and feelings about the simulation. And this gives you a read on the, how they start. The uh, assessments are anonymous. Uh, you will not be able to find out which students um, you know, provided which answers, but you will get a comparison between your students and sort of the universe of students who have taken uh, who have uh, participated in deep water. So this allows you to set up those assessments automatically. And there are six of them, and you can turn uh, them on and off as a group or on and off individually. So that's one of the major improvements uh, and changes in uh, this August two, 2015 version of deep water. Announcements, oh, uh, whenever you do a change something, and then uh, forget that you haven't saved it. It'll, it'll prompt you uh, to go back and give you a chance to save those changes and then tell you that they've been saved successfully. The last tab of the announcements tab, that's uh, very similar to the earlier version, except uh, for the first time, you're now able to attach files to the announcements that you push out to students. So these uh, announcements uh, show up uh, on the announcements page for students, and they also are uh, pushed out to them in the form of an email. So again, the big difference here is that you can attach files to announcements that you send out to students. Okay, that's the end of uh, part three, and that essentially uh, covers the significant improvements, the most uh, visible improvements and changes in uh, deep water uh, for August 2015. Thank you so much.